Hey guys and welcome to a new unboxing and it's been a long time coming uh, I've not done an unboxing for a while but this is the Metro Exodus Spartan Collector's Edition that is quite a mouthful so this is the figurine and the game you can buy it just with the figurine if you want to completely up to you right so this is the barrel it's not all made out of metal you can see bits of metal at the top and bottom but it's made out of wood I like the little details it feels like it could fit straight into the Metro universe it would, yeah, it's perfect. It's a really cool little idea to box the collector's edition. I like it a lot. Right, I got my little post-it note. So for presses. So if you want the collector's edition, just the figurine in the UK, it would cost £130 or $150. And also, of course, postage and packaging. If you want it with the game, it costs 215 in the UK or 235 in the US. So that's dollars. Um, yeah, that's the prices. I want to make sure that is clear uh, in case you guys are interested. I'm really excited for this game. I love Metro. I was quite late to the franchise, but I love it. Right, so we'll open this up. You guys can see up here. This is the metal band at the top. We unhook it and it will reveal what is inside. So you take this off completely. There we go. Ta da! <laughs> Magic. Yeah, so this I think is like a wood. I don't know what it is to be honest. It feels like wood to me, like a very thin wood or like a cardboard material. That's the lid off. And then you're met with the game. So again, if you didn't buy uh, the, the collector's edition with the game, you won't get this, but it's the PS4 edition. So this is the Metro Exodus Aurora Limited Edition. You can buy this in a lot of the stores. We're gonna unbox it. Of course, mine does not have a disc inside, which kind of sucks. So this does contain a metal case, which is on the outside. Uh, we have the expansion pass. We have a still book for the game and the World of Metro art book. Very cool. Right, so let's take off the sleeve. So this is the, the metal case on the outside. Some very nice details again. I really love the art for this game. Really, really nice. Uh, inside you have the still book, which would normally contain a game, but of course I don't have my game. I, I'm still bitter about that. Uh, there's the, the front of it, the train, the famous train. We are, no, we are no longer in the metro, we are on the railway. Right, so inside I can't actually show this because it has the codes on it, but we have, uh, we have the expansion pass for the PS4, we have the dynamic theme for the PS4, and then we have, which I believe is like a very, very, small manual like incredibly small it's it's literally a page not very impressed by that but manuals are a thing of the past so that is inside your case there we go on the fire i'm thinking that is the train it, is, it, is it is it broken i don't know i don't know and that's the whole case oh that is cool that is really nice metro exodus on the spine there as well really nice art for this game this is a poster you get inside the game box with all the creatures you will find in Metro Exodus. As you can tell, you've got snow, desert, I guess more snow, <laughs> uh, a little bit of foliage here as well. There's definitely a mixture um, of different environments, which is a little bit controversial. I've seen many comments saying, this looks like Rage or this looks like Mad Max and not like Metro. It's still Metro, believe me. I've played it. It's, I'm excited for it. Very excited. I completely forgot about the art book. So this comes with the uh, limited edition of the game. And here's a few pages, a little bit of a taster of what to expect. It's quite a nice little size. It's not too big. A uh, little taster, of course, not every page, but here's the art book. And then I'm gonna do is show you inside. Ooh, what is that? I believe this is where all the, like, the art books and stuff are, hopefully. Oh, it's like a tin, proper tin little case. Again, it feels like it could fit straight into the Metro Universe. Oh, yeah. Ignore the polystyrene. I keep finding this everywhere. It seems to have attached itself to the barrel. Uh, yeah, a little bit annoying, but there we go. So that is the tin box. There's the back of it. Very nice. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, okay. That's not... <laughs> the packaging could be a little bit better there. Um, I'm guessing it's sort of covered up to keep it nice and safe. You've got little details on the side, hopefully you guys can see that. 
Very nice. So what is in here? Can you see that? Yes. What's in the, I don't ruin this, so I'm gonna take take great care. Ah, it's like postcards. Ah. So they're slightly distressed, as you can probably tell. Sorry about the light in there. It's either too bright or too dark. It's hard to get it perfect. Uh, I've got the Eiffel Tower, actually going there this week. Two pellies. Uh, the Statue of Liberty, very nice. Again, a little bit of distress, the edges. It's like a sort of fold mark there as well. And of course, the greatest city of them all. I'm gonna put those away, keep them nice and safe. Leave them to one side. All right, so what is this? Ooh, it's a, it's a leather strap. Okay, that's a, I guess that's a clue. Okay, this thing's separate. What is it? Reveal yourself. Ah, hopefully you can see that. Really nice little details. You can sew that straight into your jacket if you want to. You can represent if you wish. So what is that leather strap? I'm interested. How does, what is it? I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, you, can, you can probably tell, I'm not the most professional unboxing channel ever. Oh, it's a dog tag. Actually, that's really nice. Very cool. Right, I'm hoping that is in focus. There we go, look at the detail on that. A proper dog tag. We got the leather strap. That's very cool, I like it. Sometimes you get items in these collector's editions which are a little bit cheesy. I would never wear it. This is actually quite cool though. I like it. Right, I'm gonna put those items to one side. And let's see what's next. It might be the figurine. It might be. It might be. We don't know yet. We're gonna find out. Oh, I forgot how heavy and how big this is. Right, there's a bit of polystyrene stuff here, which I should probably keep. Go there. What is this? Oh. Is it? Yes, the figurine. Ooh. All right, so that is what you are welcomed with. There we go, so it's inside the barrel. And what I should probably do is tip this upside down. Don't know if that's a great idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. Do it nice and slowly. There we go. Yeah, this polystyrene absolutely everywhere. That's the only negative so far. This barrel seems to attract polystyrene and my wife will go absolutely mental when she gets home. So, yeah. Oh, there's more. There's more polystyrene. But oh, that is now a fully empty barrel. Done. Again, if you go with just the statue and not the game, I believe this is all you get. Uh, this is what you get, the figurine in all its glory. Uh, we're gonna open it up, have a really detailed look and see. I'm really picky with figurines. Really picky, I, I like good, Good detail. And I buy so many which have this like face that shows just doesn't look human. It's there's no detail. So I'm, I'm quite fussy. So we'll see if this impresses me. Fingers crossed. Reveal yourself! Got a few little instructions there. No idea if you can see that. Uh, we're gonna open this up. Again, it's nice and protected, which is good. I like to see that. Might have to get the knife out so I can actually open it up. Right, again, that is now empty. Get a nice little detail there. That's that's my knife. A little Metro logo there. I like that. I just almost stabbed myself. Lovely. I mean, at least if I, if I stabbed myself, it'd be on camera. I guess that's a minor positive. Right, so there is a gun. Oh, it's heavy. Oh man, even that gun. You really probably can't see that at all. I'm probably just showing a blur. But that is a heavy, heavy weapon. Very nice. Uh, I do like a good bit of weight to my figurines. Let's lay this flat. Ooh, okay. Here we go. So that is what you are greeted with. It's really, really heavy, which I like. Right, that's empty, that side. Want to make sure. Ah, I'm attached to sellotape. Get rid of that. There we go. Anyway, uh, binoculars with a very fine bit of string. Again, you really can't see that probably. But little binoculars and a gun. Let's put that to one side for now. Let's get this out. So this is a door. There's like two sides to this figurine. It's currently 
uh, cellophane up. We're gonna reveal it for the first time. Oh, that is stunning. It's so heavy. It's like a workout trying to hold it. And then behind as well. I like the fact there's, there's two ways you can look at this. Really nice to look at on the side as well. A nice 360 figurine. It's so heavy. So heavy. Proper weighted. So this, guys, is a nice close look at the figurine in all its glory. There's the binoculars. The level of detail on this figurine is really, really good. Like really nice. I love the fact it's a full 360 figurine. Details on the back. There's the gun. That is loose. I don't know if there's like a way to fix it down, but uh, that's where it's supposed to go. And that's where I'll pull it. But it is loose. Yeah, again, look at the level of detail on that door. Really, really nice. I highly recommend, if you guys are a big Metro fan, I highly, highly recommend this, this statue. It's so nice. So many details. Look at that tongue, those teeth. The binoculars. You see his eyes, the knife. So guys, that will conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. As you can probably tell, I am not a professional unboxing channel as you can definitely tell. Um, but yeah, had a lot of fun unboxing it. If you guys want to see more Metro on release, subscribe to the channel. Check out the gameplay I've already got of the game. Links in the description below. And I will see you soon for Metro Exodus. Bye-bye.